Hello, this is a wiring guide for the Mark V shiny knife. First we're going to heat sink the nuts. These are M4 brass insert nuts. Now this is shown at two times speed here. And I use this little tweezer to make sure it's flat, where I press it against the metal table as well. Here I'm smoothing out the spring so that the trigger slides smoothly. This is a single pull dual throw micro switch and I clipped off the normally closed leg because we don't need that. Now I'm gluing them into the scale with medium consistency super glue. The switch is a tight fit. And I'm going to set it with some accelerant for the super glue. To assemble the LED bezel, first I always test the LEDs, make sure they're good and the right color. These LEDs are all pre-wired for three volts and we'll be wiring them in parallel. At this point, you need to know which LED colors you're going to have on top, as the upper color is a little bit more prominent than the lower color. In this example video, the pink LED will be on top and the blue LED will be on the bottom. Right now, the clamp is holding the blue LED. The reason that's important is because the way I assembled this is with the negative wires uh, closer to me. So right now, the positive wires are closer to me. But as you can see here, I assemble it with the negative wires facing me and the pink LED up on top. Glue the LEDs in place in the bezel and that part's good to go. Here I'm trimming the negative wire to 90 millimeters as measured from the bezel to the end of the wire. Here I'm tinning the negative wire so that it can be soldered to the battery clip. The positive wire is already tinned from the factory and yes, the positive wire is extra long right now but we're going to cut it to length shortly. I add a little twist to the LED wires here. This helps the wires get to where they need to go. The lever on the micro switch can be adjusted so that it, the trigger point is a little bit earlier. Here I'm gluing the LED bezel and the battery clip into the handle. With those two components glued in place, I now clip the positive wire so that it can be soldered to the micro switch. Here I'm testing the trigger, but if you look closely where the spring touches the micro switch, it's not seated properly. I'll adjust for that by bending the micro switch lever a little bit more up so that it triggers a little more easily. If you want, you can bend that lever so you have a hair trigger and it uh, barely requires any pressure at all to turn on. For knives that I send out, I usually hot glue the electronics so that they're more robust and waterproof, but they can't be repaired that way. So since you're building your own, you may consider skipping the hot glue so you can repair them if needed. Now I'm just inserting the blade and the M4 by 10 flathead screws, and that's it. Thanks for watching.